Hey world, it's Rico. Um, this video I'm making, it's for people that are, are ready to give up. They're, they're tired of trying to find happiness and peace and joy in the world where it's not there. Um, they've, they've either became successful or they haven't been successful. They have a, a good career or they don't. Um, they think that if they can get these things that it's going to make them happy. And um, we can see all around us every day on TV or in the news that people are, are giving up on life uh, very literally. And some of those people are very uh, successful in the world's eyes. They, they've got fame, fortune, and everything. Or, or maybe they haven't given up, but you can just see it in them that they're just not happy. Um, and what they've done is they've followed all the directions that the world has told them to do, um, you know, and uh, we all know what those directions are. You know, you go to school, you get your degree, uh, you, you, you get your, your diploma, you get a degree, um, you get a job, you find a relationship, you live a happy life, you, you travel, um, you might um, have collected a lot of cool cars or uh, a big house or or whatnot and those things are temporarily they temporarily make you happy but when it comes to having joy in your spirit and in your spirit man um, that's not there it's not existent and they're wondering what's next what what do I have to do now you know I, I've done all this stuff and I'm kind of tired of the world it's just kind of empty um, you know, alcohol and drugs, they make you feel like you're having a great time and then they kind of fade away and you left leaving, uh, you're left um, feeling kind of depleted. And, um, you know, I've tried some of these things and I know, I know that route. Um, so it's pretty clear. I mean, we can see it. You know, these celebrities sometimes, they just don't, they don't make it in the world and they've got it all. So, I mean, if we get, we're striving to be like them, you know, is that, is that where the joy lives? It's not, it's not, it's not where the joy lives. Now, the devil doesn't want you to hear what I'm about to say. He wants you to turn this off right now and keep doing what you're doing. Um, but I'm here to tell you that there's another option. There's another route. Um, God loves you. And if your parents don't love you, if you're raised in a house where you didn't have a father or a mother or, or you were abused as a child and um, you don't think love's real, well, God loves you and it is real. And he wants you to just give him a try. Have you tried just giving him a try? I mean, is it, is it, is it something that you're just absolutely not going to do? Um, God created us. We can see it by the, int the intricate way that he makes every single part of the universe, every single part of our bodies, how intricate our brains are. We don't even understand how this came together. We can pretend that we know, we know like a fraction of a fraction of a fraction of a fraction of what or how this, this place was created. God is the creator of the world. He knows you and he knows you intimately. He knows how many hairs are on your head. He knew you when you were in the womb, the Bible says. He, he formed you in the womb and he knew you. Um, he knows what you're going through. He lived a, a life like a human being on this earth. He felt pain, he felt hurt, he felt betrayal. Um, so he can, he can share that with us, that human experience. And what he wants is for us to reach out to him he wants us to say, God, you know, I've done it my way. I'm going to try to do it your way. I mean, literally, people, what do you have to lose? Um, if you've done it your way and you've found out that it's just not working and you've tried so many different avenues, then why not give him a chance? Let God take control. So... This video is going to be quicker. It's going to be for those of you who are ready to give up, throw in the towel and say, God, I'm here. I'm going to go ahead and just give you a chance to um, show me your love. Show me who you are. 
See, because God wants you to take a step towards him. If you take a step towards him, he'll, he'll run towards you. He's faithful and true and he loves you. But he needs you to, to acknowledge his existence. He needs you to acknowledge who he is. He wants you to become close with him. He wants you to not live, the, live life the way you're living it. He wants you to repent, turn away from your, your sins that you, that you know you're doing. You know, are you willing to do that? Are you willing to humble yourself uh, even a little bit? You don't have to come to him perfect. No one's perfect, um, and and he 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 doesn't expect you to be perfect when you come to him. He'll work on you. He will help you. We can't change these things about ourselves on our own. He'll come to you. He'll help you. He'll walk this life with you. He wants to be your friend. He wants to be your father. He, he's he's a brother. He, he's a friend that sticks closer than a brother, says the Bible. He wants to to guide you, lead you. But he needs you to spend a little bit of time with him. You know, um, love, it's pretty simple. Um, I was told it was, it's spelled T-I-M-E. Do you give him any of that? Do you give him any of your time? Any, any of your time at all? Do you wake up and just go? Or do you wake up and say, hey, God, thanks. Thanks for this, this, this new day. Thank you for being here. Thank you for the fact that I'm that I've got two hands and two legs and I and I have I have anything that I have, Lord. Every you know, because once you understand that everything you have, every possession that you have, anything that's good in your life, that it comes from God. He provides everything that's good. Um if you're at a point where you're, you feel like you're weak or you're tired or you're just done, um, that's perfect. That's perfect. God loves it when we have reached the end of our rope. Because in 2 Corinthians 12, 9, it says, In your weakness, my strength is made perfect. So when you are weak and you're tired and you're just done, great. What I've seen in my life is when I'm at that point and I say, God, you know what? I can't do this. I can't do this on my own anymore. I need you. You know what happens? He always comes in. He always, he always comes in. He does it his way, and it works out perfectly. And I sit back and I go, Why did I try so hard on my own? Why did I try to do this so much? I could have just gave it to God. That's what He wants us to do. He wants us to turn. He wants us to say, God, please help me. I need you. Show me who you are. If you don't believe God's real, if you don't believe God even exists, test Him. Pray out to him. Ask him to reveal himself to you. Ask him to reveal himself to you. Pray to him, even if you don't think he's there. And, and see if he won't show himself to you. See if he won't, in some way, start that relationship with you. Because seek, seek me and you shall find me, it says in the Bible. You seek Jesus, not some other spirit or some other God. Jesus, the real and only true God. You seek him and he'll reveal himself to you. Um, well, you might say, well, I'm not good enough. I'm not good enough. I'm too bad. I can't. God's, God is not going to love me. I, I've done too many bad things. I, I, Rico, you don't know what I've done. I'm, I'm a bad person. Um, you know, in the Bible, Paul is one of my favorite uh, people, and, and he, uh, he, he's written most of the books of the Bible and the New Testament. And Paul was uh, a Jew, and he was very religious, and he, and he persecuted Christians. He actually had them executed. Um, so he, he murdered Christians um, thinking that they were against God you know, in their beliefs. They thought, he thought they were like a cult. And uh, he thought he was doing the Lord's work. Um, God knocked him down, blinded him, revealed himself to him, and said, you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna be my soldier now, and you're going you're gonna to do what I want you to do. And he humbled himself, he repented, and he, from that day forward, um, was, he lived a very, very hard life um, 
for the, for God. Um, but Paul persecuted Christians. Um, I don't know if you've murdered anybody, and even if you have murdered somebody, and obviously God can forgive you um, of even that. Um, you might have to face judgment um, in the court system or something here, but in your spirit, you could be forgiven for even murder. Um, so, I wanted to read out of the Bible in Ephesians chapter 4, um, verses 17 and 19, and then we're going to jump right into a prayer if you're ready to do that and you're ready to make this decision. Um, wonderful. It'll be the first day of the rest of your life. Um, it says in Ephesians 4, verses 17 and 19, maybe a little bit further, it says, So I tell you this, and insist on it, in the Lord, and you must no longer live as the Gentiles do, which, which just means that the Gentiles didn't know God. They were like, in the world, they were, they were like living with pagan gods and doing things that they wanted to do, sexual sin, all kinds of different things. It says, they are darkened in their understanding and separated from life of God, from the life of God because of the ignorance that is in them due to the hardening of their hearts. Having lost all sensitivity, they have given themselves over to sensuality so as to indulge in every kind of impurity and they are full of greed. So if you live like the world and you have darkened your understanding and you have lost your sensitivity to the things of the spirit, then this is, this is a time to wake up. This is a time to get right. Um, so let's do it. Let's do it. If you're ready, let's do it. You know, what you got to do is just say, dear God, thank you for my life. Thank you that you are sovereign, that, you, that you've known me when, when I was in the womb, Lord. I'm going to go ahead and, and I'm going to step down off of the throne that I put myself on and I'm going to place you there, God. Lord Jesus, thank you for your, your, your uh, sacrifice on the cross, that you died for my sins. Um, I pray that you would enter my spirit, enter my heart, Lord, transform me, mold me, shape me into who you want me to be. Lord, I pray that you would give me your peace. Lord, I pray that you would give me your understanding and your wisdom, Lord. Show me what, where you want me to go, what you want me to do, Lord. I thank you, God, that you have everything in your hands and that you'll make everything for my good, Lord, according to your will. I just pray, Lord, that you would forgive me of my sins, that you would help me to change areas in my life that I need to make changes, Lord, and reveal those things to me, God. I thank you, God, that you are so real and so loving that your grace and mercy is so abundant lord that you care about me individually god come with me now lord i need you from this day forward lord i need you to, to start to show me who you are reveal yourself to me lord thank you god in jesus name i pray amen and if you've done that the angels in heaven are celebrating they're, they're, literally the Bible says that there's a celebration every time somebody says that prayer in heaven like everything just angels are just celebrating they're they are free the, the people in heaven are just so happy it's an eternal it's an eternal um, up, it's a, it has eternal consequences what you just did and it will bring you the peace, the joy, the love, the happiness, everything that you're searching for, your, the purpose of your life will be um, revealed to you and, and be given to you and, and you'll just find that you are so happy and God will show you what to do. Read your Bible, go to church, go to a good church that preaches the word and doesn't change it in any way. And um, I love you, I wouldn't make this video otherwise. And. Uh, <laughs> God loves you and um, get some fellowship, fellowship with some other believers that um, you can um, build, build a relationship with or a family. And God will um, 
continue to open the doors for you in your life. So God bless you. Thank you.